Hello. So I decided to make a video and say taking pictures of this cake attempt. Um, so my girls think I should go on nailed it. So you guys tell me, what do you think? Should I go on nailed it or not? Um, I'm usually pretty good at baking. I'm not an expert baker, not super great at making my own recipes, but I get creative and take off of other people's recipes sometimes. So this was my take on the seven up cake. And as you can see, <laughs> At least in the shape of the cake and it coming out of the bunk cake, not in the right shape. Uh, I, I see like that side, that's what it should look like all over, but it, it fell apart on some parts. So clearly I nailed it sarcastically on that part. Um, but I've been told eating the scraps out of the pan by my children that it actually really did taste good. So now we're going to try to put the icing on and decorate it a little bit. Could you be any quieter, Ryan, right now, really? <laughs> and um, then try it from there. So you guys let me know what you think. Um, if I should go and nailed it or not, what do you think? So this is my take on a 7-Up cake. It is a chocolate mint strawberry soda cake. So I use chips of chocolate, which you can see all over in the cake, um, from a big chunk of semi-sweet chocolate that I got at Winco and I shaved it down. Um, and then chocolate mint from my chocolate mint plant in my garden, lots of fresh chocolate mint. And then for the soda, I use Fresca peach flavored soda, which is my new favorite thing. Okay. So, and I use all those ingredients and strawberries, fresh strawberries from a local strawberry farm, you guys. So I also, these were the chocolate shavings. I also used it, the same ingredients for the um, uh, icing, which looks like a smoothie here. And it's not as thick as I want, but it's super sweet. I think it's more sweet than it needs to be. So here we go. Let's see. We're just going to drizzle <laughs> until we have a lot of icing on here. See what it looks like after that. Maybe it'll help it look a little better. I really just wish it had held its shape better. It would have been so pretty. Maybe I didn't put enough um, oil to grease the pan. I sprayed some spray, cooking spray, and maybe I didn't put enough. I don't know. I'm not really sure what happened, guys, but we'll see. All right, so. It's probably gonna be, like I said, way more icing than it needs, but I'm hoping it'll thicken up a little bit on the sides as it runs down. Okay. It's looking a little bit better here. Maybe I should put the pretty side to you guys. <laughs> There we go. You guys can just see the pretty side. Look at that. Okay, that's looking like a soda bun cake, right? <laughs> I really don't know when to stop with this frosting. I, I think it should be soon, though. I don't think I should put too much. Of course, half of it or more is dripping off into the pan anyway, so that's fine. just wanted a nice glaze on this cake. And it looked pretty. And like I said, taste matters more. And so far, my kids have said that it tasted really good. So I'm happy. And I tried it. It was okay to me. It wasn't great, but it was okay. Let's see. Like I said, I really should stop with icing probably soon. But I'm a little bit of a crazy person when it comes to the icing. Especially because it didn't come out as thick as I wanted. So I'm like, eh. put more, put more. Of course, we don't want it to be like a milk cake or something. But it's really, okay, so I think I'm going to stop. So, and then we're going to just sprinkle these chocolate shavings about the cake. Like that. <laughs> when your cake comes out a effed up shape and not the shape it was supposed to. Just add lots of decoration. 
I've even like sometimes if like a big chunk falls out and it's like perfect, it's like a puzzle piece. You can kind of put that back in there with frosting. And especially if it's one of those cakes where you're covering it all with frosting, nobody will notice. You know, you can do a lot with decorating to fix a broken up, messed up cake that didn't quite come out the way it should have. Now I'm getting like chocolate all over my hands and everywhere. But it's all right. Okay. So you see it gets up all melty in this heat, you guys. So I've been keeping the chocolate shavings in the fridge. All right. There we go. We're going to clean up my hand super quick. Be right back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just wanted to get the chocolate off my hand. Now we're just going to place some strawberries on here. Make it look pretty. There we go. There's another one. There's another one. <laughs> and another. Oh, we're getting down to the ugly ones here. Maybe we should mix them up a little bit. Ah, there's like the stumpy ones there. Like a stumpy one there. Big one, stumpy one, maybe spread those about a little bit better. There we go. All right, well, guys, that's about as good as this cake's going to get. I might put it in the fridge to chill it for a minute, but there you have it. That is my homemade altered recipe, basically my own recipe, but my version of a 7-Up cake. It is a chocolate mint and strawberry soda cake made with chocolate mint from my garden, uh, semi-sweet chocolate from Winco, strawberries from a local far farm here, a local strawberry farm. Sorry, I can't talk. It's very late at night. And um, what else? Something else. Oh, yeah. Fresca peach flavored soda. <laughs> Sorry. You guys can't see me. All right. That's it. I wish you guys could try it, but let me know what you think. Uh, what do you think of my baking? If you want to see more baking and cooking uh, videos. And for sure, if you want me to go on Nailed It. I don't know. Maybe I'll try. My daughters think I should go. Let me know. Bye.